I'll be honest with you. This shit, Sprite, should honestly be illegal. This is, lit like, look at it. It's literally just a bottle of carbonation. Like, there's gotta be no, like, hydration value to this. Like, it's strictly just to burn the back of your throat. Like, I feel like if you chug three of these, you start floating. What's that shirt? <laughs> Look at big old Gerald in his new house. He is digging it. Look, as soon as we planted him, can you see this? As soon as we replanted him, he sprouted another little thing. He's so happy he's in there having kids already. He's loving it. Maggie, do you want to tell him what you did to Gerald, though? Yeah, to him. You want to tell him what you did? No? Me and Anna left. We, like, ran to the store or something, and we came back, and there's a big old chunk of dirt right here in the floor. And, uh, she would be the culprit. It's all good, though. Gerald's been through worse. Where's all the fish at? Oh, all over here. What's going on, Tony? Look at Nessie over there. Look at Nessie. Oh, Jay. Oh, yeah, the fish The fish are living lavish. They're probably hungry. Let's feed them. If anybody wonders what food, just some good old tropical. Oh, God, yeah. Get you some of that, Tony. Big boy Tony going in for the kill. Oh yeah, Nessie, you just missed a piece. Oh, there you go, Nessie, jeez. Shit, Tony. Yeah, they are pretty much dialed when it comes to eating now. Like, as soon as I come over here, I turn their light on and I sit in this chair. They usually, for the most part, at least Tony. Tony is really, like, dialed in on it. For the most part, as soon as I come over here and they see me, they know, oh, that dude, he's got the goods. But yeah, there's a little update on the fish for all. What about you? You got anything you want to tell the people? <laughs> Why you look like that? <laughs> you got anything you want to tell them? Why did you just swallow so hard? <laughs> Tell them, say, hey, I've I officially learned how to drop the ball during fetch. That's a that's that's improvement. That's improvement. Jeez. Last video, I guess somebody seen it in the background while we were in here or something, but somebody commented and asked why I had a dollar framed on my wall. And that is because that is my first ever dollar I made off of YouTube. I don't make too many of those, so I gotta keep some of them, all right? But yeah, that's what that is. That is my very first dollar, and then this spot right here, this spot where it's kind of, you know, kind of bare, nothing really there. There's a nail there, but that's just, I don't know why. This spot right here, this is where my 100K plaque, when I get it, when I hit it on my main channel, that's where this is going. If you can't tell, I'm a big, you know, manifesting your dreams, manifesting what, what you want to achieve. I'm really big when it comes to that, and if you can't tell, I literally left a spot blank on the wall. Or my 100K plaque that I'm going to be getting very soon. But all right, I know everybody's wondering, JT, stop beating around the bush. You know what you titled this video. It lay it on us. Everybody's here to learn what happened with the stolen gun that I found while fishing. First off, let me address some things. No, it wasn't. How how would I fake that? Honestly, think about it. I know it seems weird that I kind of set up the camera and then walked over there and seen it. When I tell you, I was just going over there to make that one cast for like a little like, you know, B-roll cinematic shot of just me fishing. Literally, that's it. Like, I... I just got lucky that I was recording because I wasn't even recording on my GoPro. And also, I seen a lot of people saying you're not getting into acting school with this one. JT, you need to work on your acting skills. It wasn't acting. I just, I didn't know what to do. I was freaking out. And I seen a bunch of people comment like, damn, JT, it's, it's just a gun. Chill out. And yes, I know. I've been around guns. I've shot guns pretty much my entire life. I know how to handle guns. I don't freak out when I have a gun in my hands. But when I find one that has something on the trigger that looks like it's stolen and I found it in a pond, all of it just kind of got me hyped up and excited and that's why I, I was like I said bro like 700 times because I just couldn't ex I couldn't express myself like it was too much <laughs> and lastly everybody was like JT why didn't you call the cops right then and there and turn it in like and have them come out and that was the first thing you did like it seemed like I called everybody else in my contacts besides the cop like you know I called my dad I called my girlfriend I called my friend and I'll be honest I didn't think about it like it was like that was like the last thing that popped up in my mind I was like damn I might have to turn this in to the cops I was more excited that I just found it and like I wanted to show people what I found more than like you know calling the cops or whatever and also where I was when I tell you I was in the middle of nowhere I mean I was in the backwoods of the backwoods like 
I didn't, there's no street address for where I was. Like, there, there's not even a street name of what road I was on. There's no drop in a pin or any of that. So if I was to call the cops right there, it probably would have took him a good hour and a half to even find me. So it would have just been easier to do what we ended up doing anyways, which is the main thing that everybody wants to know. What happened with it? What happened with it, JT? So I think the last thing y'all seen in the video was me in the truck heading to my dad's house and then kind of just cut to me at my house. And that's because that's what I did. I went to my dad's house. I showed it to him. We cleaned it up. We got the serial number on it, which I looked it up. And here, let me find the messages. I looked up the serial number. Once we cleaned it up, here's a picture of it cleaned up, by the way. It cleaned up pretty well. But I looked it up and that gun was a Smith & Wesson Model 442 38 Special. So, you know, we cleaned it up. We found out what type of gun it was. And then pretty much that was it. You know, we took some more pictures of it. And then we hopped in the truck and we headed to Town and we stopped at City Hall and dropped it off to the sheriff. Like, and it was funny because the sheriff, he was low-key more excited than I was when I found it. Like, he was taking pictures. He FaceTimed his brother and everything. Like, it was crazy. Like, he's never heard of somebody fishing and finding something like that. It, like, it was super funny how excited he was. And the big thing was I didn't record any of it. You know, I didn't record us turning it in or talking to the sheriff or any of that. And, you know, I... I'm sorry. I just kind of didn't like it would have been awkward because the town we were in, there's only one sheriff and he's kind of like an older dude. And, you know, I d it would have just been awkward for me to ask him, like, can I film you and do all this? And, you know, I know that's no excuse because I'm a content creator. I should have done it anyways. But for some reason, I just didn't. And again, I'm sorry. I know that sucks for y'all. I know y'all wanted to see, you know, us turning it into the cops and getting their reaction and all of that. But, you know, other than that, it wasn't much. You know, we we put our contact information down for so he could call us if he found anything out about it. But, yeah, that was pretty much it. But he did say that if it was, like, a little bit older and... It was a little bit rustier and it didn't clean up as well and we couldn't find any numbers on it. He said we probably could have kept it, but since it did clean up so well and we got the numbers on it and like it did have that little lock thing on it, that gave off like, oh, this might be stolen. But you know, since it did, he confiscated it. He kept it. I didn't keep the gun. I've seen some people thinking I like lied about it. Like I just wanted to keep it. No, I didn't keep a stolen gun. What the hell? So yeah, hopefully, you know, that explains a little bit more of what happened. You know, I'm sorry I didn't record it. I really am. I... As soon as I got home and got done, I filmed the outro, I was like, damn, should have recorded that, bro. Should have recorded that. That would have been so good for the video. But again, that's also just me kind of getting over, like, the anxiety of filming in public and stuff like that. You know, there's a lot more stuff that goes into it, but I, I failed, okay? I'm sorry. I'll take the hit on this one. I sucked at my job right then and there. Should have recorded the cop getting the reaction and us at least turning it in. So again, I really am sorry that I kind of just left y'all out to dry. But yeah, that's it. I, I've seen a lot of people want me to, you know, explain a little bit what happened and this is it. Hopefully y'all understand at least a little bit of where I'm coming from. I, I'll try to get better when it comes to the whole recording thing, like recording in public. I'm still kind of nervous about that. I haven't done it too much, but you know, I'm working on it. But yeah, you know, I haven't heard anything back from the sheriff. He hasn't called or texted or anything. So I don't know what's going on with it. He said he would call me if like he found something out about it, but I don't know. But thank you guys so much for all the support that y'all show on this channel and uh, just watching the videos and just supporting me. I appreciate you guys so much. JT and I'm out. Peace.